All right, let's have some fun with the calculus of fields in 3D and learn something a little bit different. Let's learn some electromagnetics. This is a very cool subject. Electromagnetics concerns electric fields and magnetic fields and how they are tied together. These are all linked together. If you run a current through a wire, you get a magnetic field, etc., etc. Now, here's the thing. This subject is kind of difficult, but there's a lot of beauty behind it, and it's very useful as well. But things do get complicated. The thing that is the key to understanding electromagnetics is something called Maxwell's equations. This is a system of equations that tell you what is happening in electromagnetics, but there's a lot going on. We are going to have to take some time to figure out all the different components behind Maxwell's equations. The thing about Maxwell's equations is that it involves four different fields. You've got an electric field called E. That's a vector field in three-dimensional space. You've got a magnetic field that is called B. That is also a vector field in 3D. But that's not all. You might think that's it. Well, electromagnetics, electricity, magnetics. No, 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 no. You've got a current field denoted J, this is also a vector field, and you have a charge field, a density, a scalar field denoted rho. So you've got these four fields going on in electromagnetics. You've got the E field, the B field, the J field, and the charge field rho. How do these tie together? That's Maxwell's equations. Maxwell's equations tell you the relationship between the electric, the magnetic, the current, and the charge fields. Now, it's going to take a little bit of time to unpack these equations. Let me start off by noting that this is the vector calculus version in 3D. That means this uses some of the operations that we've seen, things like curl and divergence. But there's a bit more going on as well. So let's think about these. The first of these equations says that the curl of the electric field is minus the time rate of change of the magnetic field. The second equation says that the divergence of the electric field is equal to rho, the charge density. The third equation says that the curl of the magnetic field is equal to the current field, J, plus the time rate of change of the electric field. And the last equation says that the divergence of the magnetic field is zero. Now, you've got to keep in mind, all four of these fields are time dependent. So that means everything could be changing over time. Oh, it's really complicated. But as complicated as this appears, well, I have to tell you, I've simplified things. I've removed some of the important constants, constants like the speed of light or the surface area of a unit sphere or other physical constants that depend on the medium in which you're working. So be careful. If you're going to use Maxwell's equations, if you're going to learn electromagnetics for real, then you're going to have to be prepared to take some time, read a book or two, and be very careful. But in this simplified model, there's still a lot of cool stuff going on. And if you'd like to see what these equations imply, well, let's keep going.